Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. August 21st, 2017. We're in the middle of Wyoming. This is a really special spot. What's really a big deal is that Trevor did the math. We started talking months ago. The International Space Station is going to transit in front of the eclipse, right? It's gonna happen. This is the spot. Like, this is the exact spot. Two, one, transit. Oh, it happened, I saw it! Smarter Every Day is one of my favorite YouTube channels, and Destin was able to figure out where to be to film the transit, and I was really impressed, and I wanted to do it myself. I found transit-finder.com is the easiest way to figure out where to be to record a transit. You enter your location, a date range, and a radius. It will provide all the information you need to figure out when and where to be to record your own transit. It will give you information about lunar or solar transits. So here's my first try. I captured this lunar transit during the super blue moon earlier this year with this camera. I was excited to see that I was able to get it, but I thought I could do better. I was due for an upgrade, so I bought this camera, which does 4K. It has the equivalent of a 1200mm zoom lens. It's not a great camera, but it's a good value at $350. And then I tried it during the day. Now, did you see that? No, me either. It was very hard to find. I had to boost the contrast, then I could just barely see it. There it is, and you could actually see it, but it's just a speck. I felt that I could do better. My mistake was not looking at the angular size of the transit. So if it's a very small number, then it's going to have a low number of stars. A four star transit is large angular size relative to the object it's transiting in front of. I tried it again. And this one turned out much better. I could see much more detail. It's obviously easier to see at night. So after that, I thought next I should try in front of the sun. In order to film the sun, I needed to purchase a filter. So I got a Thousand Oaks optical filter for my new camera and I recorded it and it turned out like this. It's a little blurry, and so I thought I could do better. I lowered the exposure, and it turned out much better. The sun tends to overwhelm small objects that are passing in front of it. These transits were filmed from Los Angeles, and I'll do more in the future when I'm in a different location that has better atmospheric conditions. I'm amazed that there are six people on the space station at any given time. You can find out more about the International Space Station at nasa.gov. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.